Okay, as crazy as this is, this is my accessories. Here's some of my looks. Some other ones are getting tailored for our fitting and we are done. Now I need to get my nails done and eat dinner and lay down. Fashion week, here I come. Hey vlog. Hey vlog. How many hours of sleep did you get? Like four at least. Adrian got four hours of sleep. I haven't slept yet. We're at private suite. Obviously, plus waiting for the plane. Anything you have to say? Let's get the party started. How many luggages did you bring? One. One? One big one. One big one? <laughs> I brought one big one, one trunk, and one medium one. On our way to the plane. Bug any of New York, so I'm on the plane. There's my little area. I'm about to fall asleep. I'm so exhausted. I have no sleep last night. And yeah, so. Flying into Frankfurt. Let's see. Just walked into my room. I have just my little bedroom and my bathroom i love how bright the bathroom is it's really great for makeup purposes cute little shower and we're in milan the week is starting well the two weeks i'm gone for two weeks um i'm waiting for my luggage to get here so i can shower and then i think we're gonna meet luca for some lunch first breakfast in milan Eggs and bakey. We got a little bread basket. We got some cappuccinos, some orange juices, and some yogurt. Good morning. We're about to start getting ready for the diesel show. And yeah, I'm gonna eat and we'll see you when Glam gets here. I already started my hair halfway, but she had to leave. We are in Glam getting ready for diesel. to the first show of Fashion Week. We're in Milan, and we are heading to the Diesel Show. This is my look. Slay. Slay all day. We're at the Diesel Show. Yeah, in an arena, this is what's going on. Sure. We just got back from the Diesel show. Um, I'm about to change because I have fittings. The show was amazing. Glenn Martins kills it. And I want everything, as always. Um, it was really cool. It was in like a stadium, which was really sick. There was a lot of people there. So much fun. Now I'm about to change and go to my fittings. Um, Adrian's gonna bring my vlog camera, so you guys are gonna get to come along the journey. Say hi, Adrian. <laughs> See you guys at the fittings. Hey guys, this is my outfit changed. I'm wearing a little all denim look. We are on our way to fittings now. Oh, and I need a glass of rose or something. Please. And I'm packed a little bit. But we'll make that cuter and show you guys later. So, we went to that fitting and it was a little stressful. Whoa, this glam. <laughs> um, we went to that fitting and it was extremely stressful because we were late and we were supposed to be there at 3:45. we got there at 3:55. we had glam supposed to be starting at my hotel at 4 we had to push it to 4 30 whatever that little clip is all that adrian recorded and my look wasn't even there it's at the showroom because juliano is deciding which cat suit's gonna be in the show and whatever one isn't is the one that i'm gonna wear but we are going to roberto cavalli right now so i'm gonna get changed and then i'll show you guys my look on our way to roberto cavalli <laughs> The shoes are like two sizes too big, but we're still slaying. 40 minutes late to the show, but we still made it. We're back in the elevator. 
elevator series this trip. I hope all my content isn't just us talking and neither cars or elevators. But that's kind of what Fashion Week is. You go from glam to show, back to hotel to re-glam for another show. <laughs> we have dinners and parties. Um, it's hectic. I didn't have my vlog camera and I forgot that I could vlog on my phone. So I just vlogged the Kuali show on, on this camera. Hey! Hi guys, how are you? Ran into some friends. I vlogged on this camera because I forgot I could vlog on my phone. So, it's not really great a uh, camera to vlog in bright lighting because it just kind of looks washed out, but you guys get the whole gist of everything. We're going back to the hotel to change again. Fifth outfit change, no, fifth? Fourth. I don't one, even know. Two, three, fourth outfit change of the day. And it's time to finally have a drink. We got goodies. This was my Cavalli invitation that I forgot to bring, so we, we didn't know where I was sitting at first. But we just came. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's my laundry. <laughs> yeah. I thought I got a present. <laughs> I thought I got a present, you guys. It's literally my laundry. It's my plain sweatsuit. <laughs> Surprise present, <laughs> my sweatsuit's washed and my clothes are washed. So that was not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, <laughs> bye. I'm ready for the night. This is my after party and slash dinner looks. I'm wearing this Rick Owens dress with some chrome heels, chrome bag, chrome glasses. You know, we're just going all chrome today. But I'm gonna go get a drink downstairs with Leon and then I have dinner and the after parties. So night one of going out starts tonight. Peace and love. Cheers. <laughs> Me and Kira just had a very interesting encounter that awkward to say the least. Awkward to say the least. But we're gonna survive. But we're gonna survive. And it was an accident, and now it's just too awkward to fix the accident. But we're at dinner. And I asked for a vodka soda, and this is a cup filled of vodka. There's no soda in here. Dinner. This is how you do it. It's a dessert one, so you able to do our elevator series because someone walked in the elevator with us but we're on our way to the mm6 Margiela show and i'm so exhausted today for some reason i just my body's not dealing well with this jet lag situation this trip usually it doesn't hit me this hard but it's not doing very good i could fall asleep at any moment anywhere in time but i'm super excited to see the show Working down the street to go. Where to begin? <laughs> so, we were on our way to the show and we get to the show. We're there early. No one's even inside the show yet. And we're outside, we're taking photos, we walk inside, we find my seat, no one's like really inside, so we're like perfect. I literally have like a runway to take my photos. So we get my digital camera out, we start taking photos. We're done, we've gotten all the content in the world. So I'm like sitting there, also my phone loses data, so I have no service on my phone, and I'm kind of just sitting there and I'm like, whatever, I don't even have to pee, but I'm just sitting here bored waiting for the show to start, so let's go to the bathroom. To get to the bathroom, you have to take either the stairs or an elevator. So obviously we take the elevator because we're all in heels and you know, it's right there. So we take the elevator, we go pee, and we're leaving to go back downstairs to go back to the seat. And we take the elevator and we take it down. The second we get down, okay. we are kind of sitting there for like, I would say at least 10 seconds being like, is the door gonna open? I was like, why won't the door open? I was like, it's kind of freaking me out. And we look at each other <laughs> and I'm pressing the open door button. Nothing's happening. I'm pressing zero, nothing's happening. So the elevator was the scariest part because it looked like a spaceship. It was like all chrome, glass, mirrored. And when you looked up, it was like a Rolls Royce with the star stars in the stars ceiling. Stars in the ceiling, like, but like, like chrome. Circle. So it was like mirror and then the thick glass. It was like a, a little tunnel. It was like shaped like this. Mirror everywhere. You literally felt like you were in a fishbowl. And we said the when we were we, riding it up, yeah. we were like, oh, this elevator is crazy. So we start freaking out, banging on the doors. 
calling McKay and people are walking by, but because no one it was double us. lined, like no one heard us. And we were like banging, banging, banging. Stoss took her phone and was like hitting it against the wall. <laughs> then we both start freaking out. We start freaking out, no one can hear us. People I sit on the floor because of the <laughs> glass and the mirror. My vision started getting blurry. I couldn't see. So I'm freaking out and I'm like, Adrian, I gotta, I'm gonna throw up or pass out my vision. I can't see. She couldn't see. So she sits <laughs> down. She also doesn't have data on her phone. Oh yeah. No. So I'm like, here, take my phone, like distract yourself. But I'm gonna no continue service. banging on the, <laughs> on the glass. Finally, Great. some people oh, wow. realized like what was going on and they tried to get help, but it was not coming. The <laughs> like the production of the As show was the show was like, about to go. start. We found out that no one could hear us and they could see us, but it Couldn't just felt us. like you're in a nightmare, nightmare and you're screaming huh. and you can't like and no one hears you. No one hears you. And now at this point, I see this guy come over and I see his like head peek through like the door. And then I see his fingers like start to go like that. So I'm like trying to like rip the door open. And finally, she hulked it. We broke the fucking elevator she door. She broke the elevator door. And I was like, stop, squeeze through here. We're like, we're getting out. And I could hear the panic in your voice. I wasn't really freaking out until after the fact. Like, we after. had to go sit on the steps and like I nearly started crying. We, being like, like we were literally shaking. Like our hands were shaking. We missed the show. We couldn't even go inside because. We were, we were traumatized. traumatized. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's been in like a minor car accident where like you're shaken up. Shake, you're shaken up after it, even though it was like something minor, whatever. It was like that. Everything was bad, and we were like, we have to go. I'm so sorry, and everyone understood. Yeah, they were super helpful and really nice, but we were like, God, I this was it. not meant to be. It was just like everything that could have gone wrong mm -hmm. went wrong, and we had to get out of there. It took us a few hours. To recover. Um, this was like what an hour and a half ago. Yeah, and now we have to sit in the dark, mm -hmm. calm down, mm -hmm. and maybe order some champagne. Yeah, get back in the vibe. Anyways, that's our story. See you when we are yeah. ready for GCDS, and wait until you guys see this outfit. This outfit. It's a slag. Well, it's gonna be for underneath the little kit you made me earlier. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I'm adding um. A vlog. We are on our way to GCDS. I was taking a nap after the Margiela incident. <laughs> but now we are on our way to the show. I'm wearing this cat suit. It's like brown mesh. And then the gloves have like sparkly and then I have a whole mask. Like a whole mesh mask to put on later. But we're on our way. I'm so excited to see Giuliano and the collection. I'm really excited for this one and we are on our way. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So good. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. We just got to the show. I just found my seat and it looks really cool in here and I'm really excited and I can't wait for it to start. Do you want photos too on your phone in front of this? Yeah. yeah. watching us on the computer right now and we're overseas. I just got my invite for the Dolce show tomorrow and we're trying to figure out if something's in this. Oh, a little scarf. That's so cute. So cute. Wow. The invitation came with a bunch of photos. That's cute. 
cute. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We just self-tanned. I'm waiting for my food and I'm going to bed. We got a fitting at Dolce early in the morning. Early as in 10. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning vlog. I just got ready, showered my spray tan. I used Isabelle's Tanning Mousse Dolce Glow by Isabel. It gave me great color. I'm tan again. This is my little outfit. A little dress. This dress was actually long and I tailored it short because I thought it would be really cute. Short with these boots. And then I'm wearing just like a little bag and these sunglasses to hide my no makeup face because I'm going to my fitting at Dolce and then we are gonna start glam for the show. Here's my little vibe. Super excited. I got confirmed very last minute. So, we have to do everything you know, today. I have to do everything today and the show is today. Super excited and we will see you guys there. Okay, we have my look. I'm gonna wear both socks. I just only have one on for the photo. It's definitely a little big, but we're slaying, so. So excited, we're about to go back to the hotel for glam. We are in glam, obviously, uh, getting ready for the show. We are doing just like a classic bronzy liner, and then we're doing a Kim-inspired messy bun with some pieces out. <laughs> you got this. Dolce, except for my coat. Head to toe. We're going to pick up Kira and Leon, and we are going to get dinner, and then we're going to go to the Dolce after party. There's also a Montclair after party and a Bali after party. So let's see where the night takes us. This dress is really tight, but it's snatching, so we're vibing. It's also raining and freezing, so that's also fun. Just charge an espresso martini throughout the night. Vegan. Hey vlog, any vlog. It is our last day in Milan. I'm with Leon. We are going to meet Kira for some breakfast and we're gonna shop and our flight to Paris is tonight. So I'm really excited. Milan has been so much fun. I'm excited to get to Paris and have a change of scenery. We have some more friends coming in. And yeah, it's been great, busy, but fun. And we're gonna do some shopping and some fun last minute things today while we're here. Um, I need to get some coats because apparently it's raining all of Paris and I brought summer dresses. Where are we, Kira? We're at Marchese and we're waiting for the Mignon. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm waiting for my little sandwich I got and my orange juice, my cappuccino, and then we're about to get a Bottega, you know baby. You know what they call sandwiches here? What? In Italy? Toast. They say toast. So you're like, oh, can I have a toast? And they well, that's why I, I ordered the panini instead of the toast, because yeah. I just thought they were going to bring me toast. No, no, no. But so then he was like, like, describing what the toast meant, and I was like, yeah. wait, that's what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> My orange juice has arrived. Here's my ham and cheese toast. Here's eggs look so fucking good, I wanna order them. Leon also got ham and cheese toast. So good. We went to Bottega and Prada. We did some damage. Um, we are now at Ramoa. Adrian's here. We're waiting in line to go inside because I need another suitcase <laughs> for all my shopping. There's my little Prada bag. We got some Dolce. And I got really good stuff at Bottega that I've been wanting for a while, so I'm really excited about that. And we're gonna have to do some shopping in Paris to fill this new suitcase I'm about to get. See you guys in a little. Okay, we just packed up. I have so many bags in here. We have Givenchy, we just had to get another Ramoa. We have Dolce. We have, there's a Prada bag somewhere in here. We are packed and we are leaving Milan. Adrian, 
We're going to Paris. We're going to Paris. We're going to get some pizza and then we're going to fucking Paris. See you in Betty.